Hello guys, welcome to my video installment of chapter 2, um, part 3, right? So last, uh, in part 2 we finished up with velocity and speed, and so now we're going to be talking about another key aspect of this chapter, which is called acceleration, okay? So what you want to think about when you hear acceleration is change in velocity, okay? So it's kind of the, the change the change, which is represented by this delta here, the change in V, okay? And so, since this incorporates a velocity, velocity term, since acceleration incorporates velocity, it is a vector. It, it is a vector, and that was my phone if you heard it. Um, so, change in V, you want to think of acceleration like that. So, so it, acceleration basically measures how fast the velocity of an object is changing. So if, um, if, let's say, the car's moving down, if a race car's moving down the track, okay? Sorry, again, not, not a very nice car. Wow, it's, it's kind of short on the wheels here. Uh, I'll, give it, I'll give it eight wheels, okay? So let's say, let's say it's moving down the track, all right? And, um, like, here it's, it's, it's going, it has to go around, like, turns and stuff. Like, it has this big, like track it has this big loop to go around right okay so it's going it's constantly turning so it's constantly changing velocity because it's also changing its speed sometimes sometimes it's a slow around down the curve down the turns so the acceleration measures how fast it goes from 30 meters per second here right like acceleration is basically how fast it goes from 30 meters per second to like 50 meters per second okay and so that's kind of what you want to look at when you see acceleration is change in velocity. Let me emphasize that. Change in velocity. That's acceleration. That's the key aspect of acceleration. So now we're going to go, I'm actually going to go to another, a, um, well actually let's, let me illustrate one more, one more topic for you. You, you want to know about acceleration that it does not, does not, doesn't refer to speed. Acceleration is not a speed, okay? It doesn't refer to speed. It refers to how fast the changes, okay? How fast velocity changes. That's, this is key, guys. This is key up here, okay? So now, um, uh, now I'm going to go to actually another, um, actually, let's, let's talk about one thing real quick. Um, one more thing. So, free fall. So now we're going to talk about thing, objects falling. So if you have like a ball here falling, it's going to go down. It, it has downward motion. Wow, wow that was so, such a bad straight line. It has downward motion, right? Just because of gravity. Gravity, okay? And so, um, now, in real physics, in real life, there'll be air resistance, you know, resisting it, just air. There's air molecules resisting it, and it will slow it down a little bit. But when we're talking, um, our, the physics that we use, we're assuming that there's no air resistance, okay? No air resistance. So when something, when an object, when an object falls, falls only due to gravity, only due to g, it is in free fall, free fall. So this, since we're ignoring all this, all of this air resistance, this guy's in free fall. Straight down, free fall, because we're assuming no air resistance, okay? And so, now, in free fall, we want to, so, acceleration due to gravity. So, when something is in free fall, when an object's in free fall, it's going to have the same, I mean, gravity accelerates, gravity has the same acceleration, right? As it has a constant acceleration. So, what we want to realize is that acceleration due to gravity, due to gravity, is always equal to, sorry, it's an equal sign, is always equal to 10 meters per second squared. Technically it's 9.8, 
but for our purposes we're, we're using 10 okay so it's always so g g acceleration is always 10 meters per second squared okay so this guy's going to be accelerating at 10 meters per second squared throughout his whole flight because he's in free fall okay now if errors if like if he were to hit you know big like uh, maybe a gust of wind, his acceleration would change, right? But that's not that's not the case here. So, so now I'm going to move to a another page here, over here. So you can see my beautiful drawing here. So um, this is kind of an illustration here of a ball. Okay, the ball starting here, here right here. It's at zero seconds. Okay, zero seconds as you can see, and right here it's at one, two, three. Now the main equation for falling objects right here in free fall mind you, in free fall, is velocity is equal to acceleration due to gravity times the time. So we know that g, g always equals 10 meters per second, right? We just figured that out. It's, that's the acceleration due to gravity always. So let's, let's plug in some numbers. So what's the, what's the velocity? Maybe let's, let's, what's the velocity of this ball here? If, we, if you want to know how fast this ball is traveling at zero seconds? It hasn't technically it hasn't started falling yet. Well, let's plug it in. Velocity is equal to ten, right? G, G times zero, and we all know that is zero. So at zero seconds, it's at zero meters per second. Okay. Now at one, let's plug it in. V is equal to ten times one is ten. So ten meters per second, right? Now two, we're just gonna go expedited a little bit 20 and 3 30 meters per second so for every elapsed elapsed mean past past second um, velocity velocity increases by 10 meters per second. See that? Because acceleration acceleration due to gravity is always 10 meters per second squared. Got that? That this is key, key physics right here. So, you know, you can rewatch this video, but you're going to have to get this you're going to have to know this very well that when you go from here to here, it's a 1 second time difference. And so it's a 10, 10 meters per second, um, 10 meters per second velocity change in here Out. and here, right? So that's that's key. So I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be on more on moving projectiles and acceleration.